Hey everyone, welcome back to um, the Posty Bike Build for um, Make Wish Foundation. So um, we've just I've been pushing along with the bike, trying to get it done. Um, the the aim is to get the bike ready for uh, the Posty Nuts, which we're going to be heading down to in March nineteenth, um, twentieth, I think it is. So um, need to keep cracking with it. So I've changed. Some of you may have noticed I've changed the name of the my channel to um posty bike tv um so um me and jeff a mate and dave another mate of ours did a posty tv thing the other day on facebook um you can head over to facebook it's on um i've started a, a group for it. it's posty tv if you want to join and have a look at it uh audio is pretty pretty crap to be honest on the first one it's we're learning so we've got a microphone coming some some new gear so um pretty excited about it. it's good fun um and something we're going to take on the road down to the posting nuts and we're gonna uh auction off this this beauty here so um it's coming up good the bike um pretty excited we're gonna have the engine in soon so we've just got a couple more things to finish off and then we can fit that that into the bike and it's gonna start coming together pretty quickly which is ideal so um okay so the engine on the other side, I've painted the stator cover and the um, and the module thing. This is another engine I got here, so I've painted up. All this has been painted up on the other side on the on this engine. Um, so what I wanted to go through with you is, hang on, you're right there, mate. You, you're on my way. Can you get out of the way? Film, get out of the way. Thanks, mate. Um, it's always cramping my style, dog. Um, we've got the engine. We've done the new cylinder and um, piston and all that sort of stuff. So uh, one of the things is the clutch. So we don't have to do the clutch here, but I'm just going to give you a quick rundown on what it looks like under the cover, basically. So I've taken off all the screws, as you can see. I'm going to try and set this camera up somewhere where you can see me. Bear with me. Alright. So I'm going to take this off. I've given it a tap with a hammer on the side just to break the seal uh, with the gasket. I, it didn't actually do it. First shot, I had to put a screwdriver and just pop it up. It's one of the older gaskets. Um, the black ones that are quite thick. Um, they're good gaskets. Um, there's no damage to this, but I'll just replace it because it's got it. Well, you can see it's got some signs of wear in here. But first thing I noticed is a bit of sludge through here. Um, oil's got hot. It's had a bit of a hard life. Um, which you could tell from the, the piston and the cam chain and stuff. So I'll clean all this out before I do it. But one of the things I'll do because of that um, is when I... I'll just top it up with oil when I, I first run it. And then I'm going to give it a run and just get it up to, to working temperature and then I'm going to do a hot oil change so I just get it up to temperature and I pretty much dump the oil straight away um, the idea behind that is that you get most of this sludge that's inside the motor so you clean what you can um, but anything that's in there will come out with that hot oil, hot oil change and I, I normally do a few of them just to, to flush it right out um, in my opinion it's worth the, the cost of the oil just to get it out so you can see that sludge in there, um, all around the bottom there. So I've got that out. I'm gonna pick the camera up and just get in, just so you can see this this strainer. So you've got your clutch. So this is a clutch adjustment here, where it comes through, and there's a spring here. This all comes off. Don't be afraid of taking this off. I was the first time I did it. It's actually it's not that bad. Now that just comes off, there's a little spring. So the lighting's probably not great there. A little spring there. Um, that sits over that. So I'm just gonna put it back on for now. Um, and this arm, right, she can come off. So this is your primary drive. Just check that, sometimes they'll drop a tooth, but you would hear it. Um, and I didn't hear it when I was running the engine. 
Um, if you were to take the clutch off, you would remove this, take this off, take these two screws off here. Just be careful, they strip very easily. And underneath that cover, there'll be a specialised nut, um, which you can undo. If you're going to do that, do that job, I would recommend buying that um, tool to remove that nut. Just makes it a lot easier. Um, I'll probably, I will do another clutch one. I've got another bike that's got a clutch that needs repairing, so I'll do that on that. But um, for today, we just want to get our strain out. So if you can see that down the bottom of the engine, again, I apologise for the light. Um, there's a little black strainer in there. So I'm going to, without shaking you around too much, try and find a little screwdriver. It's not the one I wanted, but may do the job. So I'll just pop that up. I'll get this out and show you the light so you can see it. Oh, don't mind me while I trip over the bucket. Um, that's a strainer that comes inside the, it sits at the bottom and just strains all the oil. You can see, there's a bit of crud in there. Um, there's not too many shiny bits of metal in there, which is great. So it just seems to be more sort of gluggy, gluggy um, oil, a few bits of grit and grime, a few little bits of metal filings in there, but that's to be expected. So. What I do is I clean that out completely, reinstall it. Um, I'll clean up, like I said, clean up all that. Any gunk I can do through here, I'll clean it all out. Obviously this is your kick start shaft runs through. Um, that's a gear selector that comes through there from the other side. Turns this to the gear. Uh, that's your oil pump in here. And Sorry, I don't know if you'll be able to see it. Try and turn that around. There you go, so there's a, the drum here that sort of kicks over select for the gear selector. Um, it has a little arm, comes in from underneath, and that has a spring on it. So I'll see if I can get that in the light for you so you can see it. But um, for now, I'm just going to clean that up. Um, clean the strainer, reinstall that, new gasket on the cover, um, and um, paint the outside of it with the cast iron engine paint, which I've done the rest of it. And that's just a bit of a clean up through here, and that engine's uh, pretty much to, ready to go in. Actually, I will replace the kickstart shaft seal um, on there because I've replaced the rest of the seals so we'll do that um, yeah but we we're looking forward to getting this engine back in the bike it's gonna be great um, pretty exciting so it all becomes real uh, engine and everything else in it so um, bikes looking good a couple of little things I've done um, in my last video I spoke about the headlight bucket so I have connected all that up I've just got a couple of wires to go um, I was actually miss missing one of these um, sort of four-way connectors um, for the earths so I've, I've got one of them off another harness I had lying around I'm just going to install that um, what else I've got to put the grips on um, the mirrors the tail light, we went through that last time we finished that off. Um, the other thing I've done is I've connected up this little spring in front of here onto the rear brake switch that's here. So that when that comes down, puts the switch on. Um, I've connected the rear brake rod here. Um, and I've just got it connected up here. So um, I was missing the little round pin that goes through the brake lever for the cable to go through. I have that now. Um, sorry. 
it's around here somewhere. Um, it was one on, on one of the other bikes that I had, so I've got that off. Uh, I'll give the battery a good charge up before I start testing everything. That's just basically so I've got battery for indicators, really um, stop light is the only thing that runs off the DC side of it, um, the headlight and car light run off the AC so they'll only run when the engine's going. Um, I'm still painting front guard and airbox for the other side. So it's coming together, we're getting there. Um, it's gonna be a gonna be a great little bike when it's done. So um, I've gone on to my mate Jeff at um, who co-hosts Posty TV with me, but he's also does podcast uh, posty.com. He's trying to chase up a rear fender for me. Uh, sorry, rear fender, a rear rack. Um, the one I've got is off a 90. Um, it's just we've gone to so much trouble with this bike. I don't want to put a rear rack that doesn't belong on it. And I'll, I'll change it up and put a get a proper one. If I have to, I'll have to fork out and, and get a new one just to make it right. Because, as I say, everything else is pretty smick on that side. Um, yeah, but it's all still working. <laughs> still, all systems go down here, getting this bike done. Um, I will have it ready for the charity um, to auction off at the posting that. So what I'm going to do with that, I've decided, is I'm going to run an eBay uh, auction with this bike. So um, the end of the auction is going to coincide with um, the posting nuts. We'll be on um, down at the posting nuts, coming live from the posting nuts on Posty TV, and we're going to. Um, follow the last sort of half an hour of the auction um, in that time we'll sort of show you some other bikes and bits and pieces around at Posty Nuts and see what's going on there um, and then we'll see how much we get for it um, I'll have to work out obviously with postage and stuff if someone buys it in a state happy to do that but um, help out where I can so yeah if you want this baby um, stay tuned and check out eBay. I'll obviously do a video, uh, be on Posty TV when the auction starts. You can check it out. Um, and if you want to see how it's built, you can go through all of my videos and see exactly how everything has been done. Um, literally every nut and bolt, um, and you can see inside the engine like that. Um, so if you've got any questions about it, you'll see it also. Thanks for watching, um, hope you enjoy and the video, I'm getting pretty excited about the build, getting close now, so um, I'm just going to finish off a few more bits, I'll put that cover back on and hopefully in the next video we might be installing the engine, uh, fingers crossed. Um, subscribe, do all that sort of stuff, give us a thumbs up, cheers for watching, see ya, bye.